Hello, another day, another tip. It's been a freezing cold day on the ski slopes today and my little fingers and my little toes were not happy, but it was still wonderful, wonderful lunch with some uh, property friends on the piste as well, which was awesome. So the tip for today is work smart. Now, if you wanna be able to run a business and go away skiing for 10 weeks, you're gonna have to get efficient. Um, and I think probably if I had to say one of my biggest passions in life, it is efficiency. And that is what my working smart is all about. So what you've got to think about is, it's not about the amount of hours that you're working, but it's the amount of results that you're getting from those hours. Um, what I found was when I went from working full time uh, to transitioning to being financially free and into property, what I found was I was still thinking I had to sit at my desk nine till five or beyond and, and feel like I was working at my computer. But actually it's really inefficient and it's almost like a guilt that makes you feel that you need to do that. And if you want to free yourself ultimately to live a life that's on your own terms, you've got to shift your mindset away from thinking that you need to sit in front of your computer and work hard uh, because it, it's not about working hard, it's about getting the right end result in the most efficient way possible. Um, and what I found is that if you can create yourself more downtime by being efficient in the hours that you are working, you actually have your best ideas when you are just free, like, you know, if you're on the slopes or you're on a sun lounger or you're going for a run, like just being free to let your mind roam and your mind wander is actually when you come up with your best ideas, like how you could run your, your business better or a new way that you could structure a partnership. Like you don't come up with those ideas when you're just like forcing yourself to work in front of your computer. So really start to Financial, financially, artificially is the word I'm looking for. Artificially reduce the amount of hours that you let yourself work to free yourself to go and do other pursuits where your mind's still gonna be wondering, like that's what you do. If you love what you, your, uh, your business is about, it's gonna happen. So that you can come with those great ideas that you can then go and implement in the time that you do work. And another important part of this is ensuring that everything that you do has a purpose. It's really important to not just be randomly saying yes to having, you know, meetings here, there and everywhere with every random person or booking in loads of networking events if you're not entirely clear what exactly you're trying to get out of them. Everything has to have a purpose. And when we come back to this tomorrow, when we come to more of the business angle of what you need to do to work smart, because I think this is more of like a personal approach that you need to take for how you shift your mindset to make this all possible. So everything has a purpose. It fits into a really compacted part in your day where you efficiently get stuff done and then you walk away from it. You do stuff out, do other things. Like I'll go skiing. You can do whatever else you care to do. And then you have better ideas for how you can innovate, be creative and run a better business. And, and that is what makes 10 weeks skiing possible. Uh, let me know your thoughts, questions, comments, feedback, hate mail, <laughs> all welcome below. I'd love to know if you're enjoying this, so please give me a little like if you are, or a share too as well if you think your network would be enjoying these tips too. So thank you very much. We'll be back tomorrow on another very chilly day in the Alps for day 17. See you, bye.